For audiences worldwide, the imposing presence of Christopher Lee remains one of the important elements of a Hammer film. This episode celebrates some of the most memorable performances. And I warn you, I warn you all, that I, Grigory Efimovich Rasputin, intend to use it. The power is mine and I shall use it as I please. Christopher Lee is undoubtedly best known to audiences for the character that he made his own, Count Dracula. Have I pleased you, Master? Am I forgiven? You have done well. His first role for Hammer, though, was beneath the startling makeup of the monster, the Curse of Frankenstein. Bereft of dialogue, yeah. Lee communicated a sense of pity simply through body movements. Come on, get up. Come here. Come on now. Come here. Sit. Sit down. Sit down. In 1959, he created his third famous monster, that of the title character Karis in The Mummy. As Lee himself admits, he was primarily cast for his height, but even buried beneath swathes of bandages, he was able to project a truly menacing presence. <laughs> this thy servant on his appointed task. <laughs> thought of going back. Gradually, Hammer offered Lee the opportunity to play more substantial roles. In The Hound of the Baskervilles, he was the suave hero falling in love with Marla Landy, lucky devil. And the mist. You must be very lonely. Yes, I am very lonely. When you are poor, no one wants to know you. I want to know you, Cecile. Why did you run away from me yesterday, when we had hardly met? Why did you kiss me, Cecile? Why? I don't know. Tell me. 
I don't know. I don't know. But love brings dangerous consequences as the legendary hound is unveiled. You don't understand, do you? Then let me explain. I too am a Baskerville, descended from Sir Hugo, descended from those who died in poverty while you scum ruled them over. We have waited and prayed for this moment, my father and I. Now our time has come and yours. The curse of the hound is on you. She, Christopher Lee, was the devoted servant of Queen Aisha, played by Ursula Andress. You tremble, Bilele. A man who fears your wrath and does not tremble is a fool, O Queen. A man who does not fear your wrath and yet does not tremble in your presence. He's not a man. Will you tell me something? This woman, Aisha, why do you all do her bidding without question? It has always been so. Yes, but why? She's only a woman and alone. You are men and many. And like all men, we are born, we live a span, and we die. But she has been here forever. She is like the mountains, like the desert, changeless, ageless. Deathless. That I cannot believe. In your fear, you have accepted the impossible as truth. No one lives forever. And no one was born to be the vassal of another. You know and feel this too. I've seen it in your eyes. Your body does a bidding, but your spirit cries out to be free. Is that not true? Each one of us has his own destiny to fulfill. And yours, I suppose, is to fill the next alcove. I can't believe you're such a fool, Bulele. No, Mr. Holly. I am not such a fool. A common characteristic that he gave to his performances was the fiery determination to achieve. But here, his desire to enter the flame of eternal life leads to fatal consequences. Equally adapt in costume adventures, his vicious cutthroat Captain Robles in the Devil Ship Pirates provides a fine example of his athletic prowess. <laughs> In 1966, Lee filmed Dracula, Prince of Darkness, 
and Rasputin, the mad monk, back to back. The latter provided a character which once again made use of his imposing stature and authoritative voice as he seduced or murdered all in his path. What is your name? Sonia. Sonia. Little Sonia. You're a very beautiful little Sonia. Seeking revenge, Dinsdale Landon is about to suffer the consequences of trying to combat the Mad Monk. Death scenes became almost a standard requirement of the hammer roll for Lee. And the icy finale to Prince of Darkness makes use of a surprisingly similar set to Rasputin, don't you think? Thank you. 
Lee played a rare hero in The Devil Rides Out, refusing to be dominated by the special effects in a frightening tale of the supernatural. Simon, those uh, charts, they're not astronomical, are they? No, good Lord, no, they're just a decoration, relics, Middle Ages nonsense. It's clever of you to extend the decorative scheme to the floor. Yes. Well, if you'd like to see these. Sounds like mice. <laughs> The 1976 film To the Devil, A Daughter was also a tale of the supernatural and like The Devil Rides Out was based on a novel by Dennis Wheatley. However, this time Lee is immersed in the forces of darkness using its diabolical powers to terrorize Denim Elliot. We've always been very close, haven't we? We're very close now. Don't you feel that? so close that I can hear your pulse beating. It's beating very fast, Henry. Too fast. I don't think you have very long to live. Where is Catherine? She's with Verney, John Verney. You will have to speak a little more clearly, Henry. John Verney! Verney. Thank you, Henry. Natasha Kinski is the young girl Lee attempts to lure away. That's not a bad idea. Richard Widmark, the man battling to save her. Catherine! Catherine! Catherine!
Whatever other characters he brought to the screen, though, he will always be associated with the infamous vampire he played seven times for Hammer Films, investing the Count with true sexual presence as well as a cruel malevolence. It is a creation that has true cinematic power.